Hi, you guys. So, this is Emily, and I just took a shower. Happy 4th of July, everyone. I was out there watching fireworks, you know, from, like, three different cities. I could see it from the top of my house. It was amazing. Happy July 4th. Anyways, today is just that day. Big Hit decided they want to, you know, screw us all over, so that's what we're going to do. <laughs> they just released, uh, you know, the Seo Teji cover of Come Back Home, you know, last night on Spotify, and I was like, what the fuck? And then all of a sudden, like, Bon Voyage Season 2, like, Season 2, Episode 2 comes out, and then I was watching that, and all of a sudden this video comes out. I don't know what to say, and then, like, V, Tay posts pictures of Hobie, like, in a studio, and I'm just, like, not ready. <laughs> so anyways, here's a video reaction. I've been talking for too long. Video reaction of BTS's logo animation. I, like, a lot of my Twitter followers were, like, try hitting me up, and they were like, yo, 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 like, you gotta watch this, you gotta watch this, this is happening, and I'm like, what is happening? And then I saw it, and I didn't see it yet, but I just saw them, like, tweet something, and then people were hitting me up about it, and they're like, what do you think, what do you think? And I'm like, bro, I don't even know what the fuck you guys are talking about. <laughs> so we're gonna find out. BTS slogan animation video reaction. Let's go. See you there. I'm June's voice. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Let me see that. Hold on. I like if you can tell I'm like speechless. It kind of there's like this scene right here that I'm looking at. Maybe I should take a screenshot of it and then I'll like edit it into my video later. But there's a scene right here. This picture right here kind of looks like the the for Young Forever. Um, album or the wings, you know what I'm talking about? Do you know what I'm talking about? I can't, I can't think right these days, but it's like the wings, the black and white smoke, the wings album with the smoke and stuff. So BTS is like opening the door, and they're like, it looks like the door's opening, like a push door. So you're opening in, armies looks like they're coming out or coming through. Supposed to mean beyond the scene. I don't know how to feel about it, you guys. I, what's happening? Because, like, my so, like, Twitter followers have been telling me, like, oh, like, they're changing their name to beyond the scene or, like, the meaning of what it means. I don't know if they're gonna change that content on you or not. But it, it looks like they're not because the big hit video even says like BTS, back down so you're done. And it says logo animation. So like is that maybe like this change is an introduction to like the next era of the boys, you know, the next era of BTS? Or is it like the next comeback, you know, and now they're focusing on like, because they kind of like do things in series a little bit. So like, is this like the next thing, you know, the next series or what is happening? I, I don't know, but I'm just like, like the way that people were telling me on Twitter was saying like, oh, like they changed, like they totally changed. And so that got me like super upset, but I wasn't sure. And this looks like, I don't know, like what is beyond the scenes supposed to mean? Like, I read something on Twitter where it's saying like beyond scene means like, um, can't even like I can't even think straight right now. Beyond seeing something like, uh, like BTS is gonna open the doors and Army's gonna meet them to something. Okay. I don't know. I'm not sure what this is supposed to mean. Anyways, I like I like I told you guys see like. Even before I made this video, I was tweeting and I was like, I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to say or how to feel. What does that mean, beyond scene logo animation? Like, is that, that's what I want to know. Like, are they trying to say, like, we still represent teens and 20s and, you know, try to fight against the prejudice against them through our music 
and and beyond the scene is just the next step. You know what I mean? Like here to here is the next step, because beyond the scene is like totally English. And they said they're gonna. They I know they're gonna make music in Korean for sure, but like, what's happening? Like what what more comes with beyond the scene? Like what is it? Because that's what I'm curious about. Like. If it's a name change, like I want to know, like why why the name change, what called for it, like um, how do they even come up with that, you know, like what led up to the to them, you know, to this, and then also like what do they see it becoming, like what is it gonna be, you know, like what are they expecting, what are the results, and what are the expectations of this new beyond the scene title, I guess, like that's that's what I want to know, cause. I'm not too sure, like, why they're changing. But maybe they already have all of those answers, like, ready for us in the next comeback. And we're just not prepared. <laughs> or we're just not anticipating it yet. Like, we just don't know yet. That's what I'm thinking. But at the same time, I'm, like, kind of disturbed a little bit. Like, why? Why the change all of a sudden? But maybe it's not all of a sudden because like their popularity has been like skyrocketing like crazy and um, they've gained like s such a super duper big fan base just on a short notice in a short amount of time too. So that I mean like that makes sense as to why like there's like this change. But I just want to know like what is beyond the scene like consist of you know what I mean and like just personally too like. I don't want to be that fan, but I'm just gonna voice out like what I feel because like I, as soon as I like as soon as somebody told me oh it's like a, na a name change beyond the scene like BTS is gonna be now beyond the scene we don't know if they're gonna keep Michael Sir down but I think they are but like their meaning is kind of like the meaning of their name the group and why it formed it kind of seems like maybe it's still there but it's just like an evolution of what is happening and I'm not sure what's I'm not sure what's happening personally but like when I when I read that. I personally thought like damn like this is the change like I don't know why and it's not like BTS let me down or anything but it just like for me it just really felt like wow like they're changing and it's crazy because they they literally reached this peak in their career and and then with that like we me as a fan I, I was assuming like as an older fan I was assuming man like they wouldn't have changed, but the fact that they did made me feel like they let go of the, the old and they're embracing the new, and that's not bad, you know? That is literally just how life is and culture and society and everything, but it made me feel like they were embracing like the popularity that they have these days. And I guess me as an older fan who's been here from the beginning, I feel like like I'm being forgotten of. I guess maybe that's like not even a feeling that I should be feeling. Like I shouldn't even have to feel that way. But I guess what I'm trying to say is like I feel like when they announced that this is like a, like they're in the peak of their career right now, but in the midst of the peak, they're changing their names, and all of a sudden I felt like I was like being abandoned of like the things that I held dear to me the most. Does that make sense? I'm not sure if that makes sense to you guys, but like that was exactly what I that was what I felt, and I don't think they're abandoning us or abandoning it like what they used to stand for or what they do stand for. But I don't know. I guess I just for me that's what I was saying. I was telling my friend Medina, and I was like, I need more clarification. Like I don't want to spend too much emotional energy and exert that much energy on it yet without understanding what that change means you know or like why it's even there and so but I'm just telling you like my initial reaction like that was exactly what I felt because like for me I like I know all of the other like older armies as well like they hold like the things that they like their very first reaction with BTS they hold dear to the hearts and I'm telling you like even the new armies now like you will embrace fire because if you came during fire era or you know run era or something like that like you will embrace that because you know that was the era you entered and for me it was just one day that was the era that I entered and so it's so for me like what now that they're changing the whole thing it just makes me feel like oh well, they're like it's, it seems like they're abandoning the whole thing, but maybe I'm just not like clear of what it actually means yet, so I can't assume things like that. And I don't know, like, I guess it's life. Like their song, Move On, you know, like it's life, you know, change happens. And I think that 
-hmm. we just have to embrace it when it comes and I think that's that's what I was tweeting about earlier when I said like maybe I'm just uncomfortable with the idea of change you know it's not that their name is different or the meaning is different like maybe that's not the significant thing the significant the thing that um, I'm most uncomfortable with is the fact that it's changing at all right and I'm, I think that's what it is I'm not sure but like I guess I would just want to wait for more clarification from Big Hit and BTS and I know they're gonna get lots of interviews as to like why they why did you change the name what does it mean now what do you guys stand for now and like I'm anticipating those interviews like those questions like those answers from them and I feel like it might it might be vague concepts I don't know I like I don't know and I feel like it's hard because BTS is in this this part of their career where like they started making off they started out they started off they started off making music that was really meaningful and then when it came to I Need You era like over into the next eras after that like the music started to shift a little bit more where it was more like popular music more popular music rather than the hip-hop underground scene kind of like hardcore rock like hardcore kind of rockish thing from danger era and stuff like it totally changed into this more like pop scene which is totally fine you know like I had to grow accustomed to that music change because the reason why I joined B BTS in the first place like or be became an army in the first place was because of the music and then the music had evolved so I felt like I had to evolve with the music and so I did but now it's like another evolution and I'm not sure like what's happening but I guess what I'm just trying to say is like as time changes so do people and I guess this is what BTS is trying to embrace and maybe we need to hop on board as well you know like maybe they already see what the future could possibly be and look like and that's the road that they want to pay for themselves and it's just a matter of fact of if we want to be on board I don't know it, uh, I'm just like blabbering I'm just gonna stop because it's 12 minutes this was just supposed to be a video reaction and that video was only 30 seconds <laughs> but I'm just like blabbering because I don't know how else to feel about it like as an older army I just kind of feel like are you guys letting go of everything that had happened you know like it's not it's not like I don't think they're saying like oh the past didn't happen I, I just kind of feel like they're embracing the new but I'm kind of thinking like what about the old like I don't know like like I don't want to think back and be like I, you know like at their Wings tour, like they did a mashup of all their old songs, you know, and I, I hella love that so much. But like for me, it's, it's hard because like they don't perform any of their old songs anymore, you know. Like you know, Miss Right in just one day and um, stuff like that. Like they don't perform those songs anymore, and it, it's hard, you know what I mean. Like for me, for me, like I love those songs. It's hard, and I know they're always trying to embrace the new. And there's just too many things to do and too many songs and choreographies to memorize that they can't obviously perform all of those songs but I guess like that to me like the fact that they weren't performing any of those songs anymore just you know they're new they're artists they're always recreating procreating and always doing all these things you know but I guess like I would just hope that maybe they would throw in Miss Right once in a while you know like danger once in a while let me know once in a while or something and you know or I like it once in a while and it's, it's just hard because it feels like it like now it, like to me like I've already felt that and I just didn't want to confirm it but now now seeing it now I'm the receiver of the new news you know what I mean like now BTS is changing their concept I guess and you got, it really feels like oh my god like everything that I felt is being justified in some way I don't know, like, it kind of, it kind of sucks, you know, personally, like, now that I'm thinking about it, um, I shouldn't get emotional about it, because I don't even know, like, what it really represents, but I guess at the end of the day, like, I really just want to know, like, why the change, and then, and then, and then what next, you know, I don't know. <laughs> hard to think about. I don't know. I think, I think that it's hard to because in the times that 
the cypher part one and the cypher two and we are bulletproof of boy love and no and no and no more dreams i think in the time that all of those songs came out was probably the hardest time that bts ever had in their entire career it was just that debut and i think that's why it's hard to like go back and look at those songs because i feel like maybe those songs were underproduced maybe those songs were not as good as it could have been and that's probably why they don't really turn back to those things you know but it's, it's, it's okay, like to me, like the flaw in that is what makes it genuine, you know? It wasn't, it's not because it was perfect, it was because there's so many flaws in it, like I'm a flaw, I'm a, I'm a flawed person, and I think that, I like, I love those songs because that was when they were trying to establish who they wanted to be, and that's what I loved about it, it was, it was the process, and it was a hard part, it was a hard song to write. But now it's like, it's different. I don't know. Maybe I'm just getting mixed emotions <laughs> with everything that I've been feeling already. And then now this name change from BTS makes me feel like everything that I have been feeling is like justified. And it just makes me kind of like, I can't, like overwhelmed. Okay. I'm gonna stop. <laughs> Cause I like, obviously I'm gonna cry somewhere after this video, but it just, I can't, I'm just gonna repeat myself. We'll just wait, we'll just have to wait. Like honestly, I don't know, I just have to wait.